Welcome guys. Today we will be reviewing the 2024 GMC Sierra EV Denali Edition 1. So this is my mixed truck and I have been driving it almost a week and I had a 2022 Sierra Denali Ultimate, which is the gasoline version. That was V8 6.2 and upgraded to Sierra EV. And I've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube and uh, pretty much, you know, everybody talks about the numbers, the features, but in this video, I would like to go over the details uh, that I like with this new truck uh, and the features that I think Think it's gonna be useful or helpful or I would at least enjoy to use the features of this new truck and I will kind of like compare also with my old truck like I said the 2022 Sierra Denali Ultimate so the 2024 Sierra EV it only came with the Denali trim so I believe that's gonna be the top trim but I'm not 100% sure if in 2025 or maybe the coming years, if they're gonna have a Denali Ultimate trim for the EV version of the Sierra 2. We will see that, but right now, this is the top trim that they're gonna have it. I know they mentioned they're gonna have lower trims of Sierra EV in the year of 2025. Anyway, so there is no Denali Ultimate. So all we have is Denali. And like I said, I'm gonna compare. When I did my upgrade to the Sierra EV, I lost some of the features that 2024 Denali Ultimate had and this one didn't have. So we'll also go through with those. So what is Denali missing in their EV compared to the gas Sierra? So let's start, I mean, the, the front first, I mean, that shield and all that muscle look pretty much, you know, in the lines of uh, Sierra trucks, it's like, you know, it's kind of the same C-shape headlights. So we don't have a grill, it's an EV. So it has like the GMC logo can light up. And, you know, there's also, lighting uh all around i want to talk about the features that i like and i think you know which would be helpful so one of the first things let's start from the front which is that i like to have and it's an upgrade I'm really happy to have is the front trunk which you open it up from here or from inside or you're from key fob so it has a good amount of space it's my son sucker balls um so take a look closer that comes with the truck we have, you know, charging cord for, you know, 110 and 240 volt. And that would be helpful if you have, let's say, you know, in my home charger, I already have everything, but this is good. If you go to somewhere that's only plug and you need to charge, which this would take forever. But uh, if you have like a 240 plug, which you could plug it in and then do it. But another thing is this has uh, outlets all over. There's one in here, which is 20 amps. Um, the max is 2.4 kilowatt, but I believe you have a better one in the back. So what this does, for example, let's say you have a second EV and your second EV got stuck, like you need to power. So you can do that with your Sierra. Let's say, you know, we have the second EV EQS and let's say the battery's shot and then we need to charge it. What we could do is we could charge with these ports, our second electric vehicle in case we need to. And then I'll show you the plug in the rear, which has, you know, a better amperage, better power. And here we have, that's another feature that I like to have. There is a, you know, air compressor. If you need to fill your tires on the way, that would be great to have, it's always here and then this space is you know something that i really like to have and it's a great amount of space in the previous truck when you had let's say the groceries you don't want to put them in the bag because you know they're going to move around yes you could solve it with a net but still uh like i said i put my dogs in the bag so there's always hair so this is a clean space where i could put my stuff in here and that's really practical and really happy to have and then there is a drain here if you look closer you know if you want to tailgate and you want to put some ice and some drinks you could easily drain it over here and that's good to have it's basically like you could wash it but i guess you gotta remove the compressor out of the way the cable out of the way and there's a plug there all right so that's the front trunk that's the number one feature that i ha you know happy to have and the second feature 
Let's talk about the tires. Not the second feature I like, but I'll, I'll be, you know, continuing on that. I'll be picking up on that. But since we're here, we have 24 inch rims. And with these tires, I mean, it's, it's a giant tire and I'm about six feet, one inch. So, I mean, when I stand next to the truck, you could definitely see, you know, it's, it's a giant. And then one other feature. Okay. The second feature that I like, maybe it's important to you, but maybe it's not. But here in my previous truck, the Denali Ultimate, the gasoline this was kind of like a cheap plastic on this one it's kind of like a glossy finish same with the bumpers so this kind of looks more upscale than the gasoline version you know uh those uh the trims and here we go continue now on this one because this the battery there is no power running side steps so in the gas version we had a side step which was motorized and it would go underneath for you know to reduce the drag in the air unfortunately this is fixed and it's always out i believe it's because of the battery underneath you can't really go underneath and another feature that i like is in the you know the gasoline version the the lock and unlock button which i use it all the time it was only in the front doors but now we have also on the second row which is a good to have let's move on compared to the gasoline one i don't know if if recall but we could put a picture here in the you know the gasoline lean version the cabin and the truck bed it was kind of like a separate two body so this is all unibody so it's all kind of like a one piece looking and it looks much more elegant same thing with the with the tire wall trim that's also gloss and it's not like that cheap plastic this is what i'm talking about the cheap plastic so before uh even in denali ultimate this kind of material was continuing all over the tires and this is the charge of course you have your supercharger port in the bottom and this is kind of the, the household like the regular charge and we continue throughout it has a very sleek look and it's the same tailgate that GMC carries over on their trucks, which is good. On this one, we don't have the handle anymore. I guess this truck is not for the elder people. And it's actually even a little higher. You have the suspension settings, and this is right now, it's on the elevated. I'll show you the features inside. And then it's also missing the speakers compared to the Denali Ultimate. So there's no speaker, kicker speakers in the back, no handle to get you up in the truck. And it comes with the factory installed, you know, uh, soft cover roll up and then let's go here actually let's look at the plugs that we talked about so this is the soft roll up and then come over here let's take a look so we have 240 30 amps which is 7.2 kilowatt hours that's the charger that you know that's the plug that you want to use if you're going to be powering other ev because at home for example at my home i have a 60 amp breaker and i charge my eqs about 9.5 kilowatt per hour and that usually uh brings it to 80 percent in like you know nine hours let's say if i was 25 30. so with this i could easily and quickly charge my second ev if it needs some power on the way so that's really really helpful and then with the cord that i have in the front and then we have another two outlet one is 120 2.4 kilowatt and another 120 2.4 and there is a little storage space here and I don't know this is very kind of cheap material but you could you know lose it <laughs> it has to be in there has the lights you know all the raw you know hooks and you know it, the, from the factory it comes with you know the sprayed bed liner so you don't really have to do it and that's kind of like the the trunk uh so it's really good to have those outlets especially 240 30 amps it's very strong all right let's move it so the first thing there is no start and stop button to start the truck and i was told if you get in the car and press the brakes it will start the truck but actually if you get in the truck you just sit it in a few seconds it actually turns on and it's ready to drive all right another feature that i always wish to have on my old denali ultimate the shift knob was here 
and I always find really unuseful to have it over here because it takes up all this space and you have your cup holders, you know, kind of like vertical where I look at it. I like to be horizontal here because if I get the second person, you know, her coffee or drink goes here and mine goes here. In the old one, I was putting my coffee here and then the passenger was gonna be putting here. So it's really good to have the shift knob over here so we have all this space and it's pretty deep and you even have a little bit of more here so and then we have uh, the 12 volt and then two usb c and i have seen like there's no usb a in this truck now like all devices nowadays we're using it's all usb c so that's really good to have no need to have a usb a at least for me and then this is the wireless charger and look at this it looks very elegant and it has that wood textured wood i mean it can't be maybe it's, you know most likely it's not wood it's something you know manufactured but it has this beautiful wood look and then there you go your phone goes in there and then let's look it up here and you could pull this out and here you have another storage another USB C in this for this compartment and that's a very deep storage okay so you get almost the same size of storage next to the driver just like your ram this is one of the things that i was really missing on the ram truck because the 2022 sierra denali ultimate didn't have that much storage because of the shift knob and all the configuration now it's kind of fixed well the mirror is the same it's again just screen and with works with the camera you want to use traditional you could do that that's everybody knows on star and everything it's over here and now another big improvement it's the screen size i mean this screen is giant some people really say i don't really care the size of the screen anymore and they're getting bigger and bigger people are complaining i actually find it you know useful helpful bigger screen better navigation and then one of the reasons i always like the gmc trucks be because it's their navigation it's integrated with google maps and google maps you know the navigation that i always use and i would use it in any car that i get in and this is already built in so that's a really good thing for me it's very much deal breaker for me that i won't switch to any other brand just because they have the google built-in navigation because i use it all the time whatever i go just i know how to get there but there are many ways and live updated traffic it takes me to the you know the routes that i should be taking so that's really helpful let's quickly go over the you know the thing is there's a big menu here got the wi-fi hotspot and another thing that the denali ultimate didn't have the auto park assist that's a new thing so it's like if you want need assistance to park and there's even like you know a bunch of uh, options you could you know park in a space or you could exit out of space i don't know if that's helpful for someone i don't really use that much and then there's the drive modes and then the drive modes you could you know customize your mode which you could do your steering to normal sport suspension acceleration feel motor sound you could you could you know put a sound like you know you're in a combustion engine vehicle i mean it's even cooler than that and you know there is like so much like normal off-road and trailing it's that's good and then uh you have the hammer mode once you put that up put that on you have 750 horsepower comparing this you know the old 2022 sierra denali ultimate even though it was like v8 6.2 that was only about 300 maybe half of this as a horsepower and 780 something you know pound of you know uh, feet of torque and another feature we have is here one pedal driving and you can even like off high normal and you can have it on show on the home screen it just pretty self-explanatory and so i don't use that but some people love it maybe it could even save you on some you know mile range this is a google assistant which is really helpful like i click on that and i you know i have my home smart everything let's say if i get to my home and i say hey google and turn on my living room lights it would turn on my living room lights as, as i'm about to enter the place that's good okay let's cancel the google the play store charging there's a bunch of things to talk about i don't want to go in that much detail but i just want to go 
things that is, you know, the maps, uh, and you have a bunch of apps, you know, your music station, which one you prefer, and let's go to control. So the control, that's an easy way to get, you know, your controls, heads up display, power window lockouts for the rear seats, because my kids, you know, keep playing them all day long. So I need that dome light. Auto high beams are, I really like to have that. It's really helpful for the, you know, when you drive in the night for long distance and it's just doing the control automatically. And it really works with the GMC with my old truck. This one, it should work the same. The rear steering, that's really helpful. That's a big truck. And then when you turn right, I turn it on all the time. When you turn right or left, it just incredibly reduces your radius. And there's the crab walk. I don't really know who's gonna use this, but I'll show you what it is like. Maybe it's just a party feature, cool to have. So this is the power station. You could turn that on even though your truck is off. Always power something if you're in the campsite or something like that, or you're charging some other EV, but you just turn it on this truck so that you can control there. And then I mentioned there's no on and off button. So when you get out of the truck, you walk away, the truck turns off. But if you're sitting in the truck, you turn off manually, you just click on that and vehicle off all right so that's off and just to start like i said press break to start and even uh you can say you know click on this and then the vehicle you're inside it would stay on for 60 minutes okay so you can even do that and let's talk about the lights so this is the you know your headlight control there's no headlight control here or here it's over here um, you could do auto on you know you know, daytime running lights or your headlights on off the controls here. Uh, and then all your climate controls, it's easy. You just doesn't, you don't have to go through the menu to control it. If you need to, you can get in detail here, but I don't use this. I instead, I, and I don't wanna uh, just going through the, you know, the menus, I just wanna easily reach. Okay, go up and down, change your climate and your, you know, heated and cooled, you know, ventilated seats. Okay, you could just, simply do that and all the you know the hvac controls are here and it's this is the you know to control the volume so that's really helpful now let's move the steering wheel of course we have the super cruise that's one of the features i really like with gm also take up the call and the call and with this button like heated steering wheel and with this button you could just change your screen instrumental screen in two three different modes i mean you can't really as far as i figured out i can't really customize what i can put in here too much like you could just you know the, the notifications that you like in some of the menus here you could hit the button and you can put it on your instrumental screen but you know you can't really drag and customize all the screen but this screen is pretty helpful it shows your remaining battery if you are uh you know lifted your suspension that shows this all the way high and i have uh, this is your odometer and 30 percent charge you know taking some navigation but you still have some information about you know your speed your range and and the map that's also good to have so but i think the old sierra denali ultimate had more ways to configure your instrumental screen and on this side we have you know the power uh the rear uh gate the truck gate opener and the front trunk and then this is how you can you know control your suspension in the screen as you could see this is the maximum and if you go for example i could take it down normal and entry exit so there's like one two normal three increase and the fourth is the maximum height i don't know how many inches but it's when it's maximum you really feel it it's pretty high and then the same things over here you know your trailer brake controllers are here and you know that's kind of it that's pretty much all things you're gonna need and then i believe this is a mic here and another thing that we didn't have in the sierra denali that was the, the the panoramic roof so here we have the full fixed panoramic roof i think it's it's with tilted glass even with the with the sun i don't think i really need anything to cover it that's just good so far and uh yeah so the interior i mean the denali ultimate interior wasn't really you know it wasn't bad at all this could be maybe more minimalistic look and then it has kind of like i don't know a little bit more modern design um and then here's another feature that we don't have in this denali that we had in denali ultimate and that's one of the things i'm going to be missing it's the massage seats so these seats 
don't have the massage feature. So I'm really, you know, surprised why they wouldn't have like the massage seats if that's, you know, if that's their top trim. If they would have a Denali Ultimate trim, I guess the only thing they could put in there, it's the massage seats. I mean, what else? Maybe some, you know, other color interior that might look more, you know, luxurious. I don't know what to say, like, you know, I don't know what could be more than this look. Um, so, you know, pretty good in already. Uh, I guess it's the massage seat. That could be the only thing I could think of. Uh, all right, let's go about check the back seats and I have a few more features that I like to show. All right, so when I got the truck, I ordered, you know, the truck didn't come with these, uh, you know, weather liners it came with the carpet but i ordered it and it showed back order but even like i ordered it like on the day that i get the vehicle uh it actually shipped in a few days and i was surprised uh, anyway this is the you know the original liners that you could order and then in the rear you have your you know heat controls here uh for the rear seats uh there's no ventilated rear seat and again comparing to the 2022 sierra what we are missing is the storage underneath right that's one of the things that we're missing and the second thing we're missing is the sierra with the denali ultimate gasoline version we had a storage over here we don't have that anymore so those two things are missing for one reason it's because um this has a mid gate that we can um let's do this all right so let's see if i could do it and here we go you could just click this you could just hit this button first that's another thing they have like you could take this out of the way and then you press that button and this is your mid gate opens up and you could even remove that one and you could even take the glass Put it in here fixed and then you have the whole thing open i'm not gonna do that right now but that's something could be help you know helpful for some people i don't know if i really if i'm you know really gonna need that or use that but it's you know a feature they put in there and that's why you're missing that storage you're missing you know a big storage here and there's also because it's electric i think the floor is kind of higher than the gasoline version so that's also one of the reasons that you don't have uh, the storage too because this floor is higher definitely higher than the gasoline version all right so we have seen i kind of like walk you through the features that i you know appreciated to have like to have the new features if you're comparing to the you know the gasoline version but there is also some features that are missing from the denali ultimate package as this is just denali like i said we don't know if that's the top trim or there would be a ev denali ultimate so there's some features that's missing from the gasoline version but the features that it has the front trunk you know the the electric wrench and plus the power is actually the reason one of my top reason to switch to ev is actually the power that i get even like we ate 6.2 the gasoline and electric cars they're completely different and the power and the responsiveness is and the smoothness is way better with the electric cars and the trucks that's why i love driving electric more than gas and i was actually against to it when i kind of like you know first people started with teslas i wasn't really curious to have uh, or you know or i wasn't inclined to get electric vehicles but as we get our first electric which was a 2023 eqs and i kind of start driving it's my wife's car. I realized it's a lot more smoother, a lot more faster, and it drives a lot better than the gas. So that's why I switched to the EV. It might not be good for everybody. You know, you definitely have to have a home charger, in my opinion, because you don't want to depend on the public charging. By the way, this, you know, if you take a road trip, which I don't take long road trips as often, maybe like once or twice a year. And I could depend on the, you know, the fast chargers because this has about, you know, they say about about 10 minutes you could put 100 miles and with full charge you could get about 440 miles that's a big battery because it has 205 kilowatt hours battery if you compare the tesla model 3 their basic model 3 has 57 kilowatt 
hours battery capacity and this has 205 it's almost four times bigger but this is heavy this is big but you're not down for your size you have a better and bigger battery i don't know if it's better but it's a definitely bigger i shouldn't say better but it's definitely way bigger almost 3.5 times more than a regular tesla 3 the model 3 and the suspension you could see over here right now it's at its full height and you see that giant uh you know silver steel color uh that's your suspension that's basically lifts the truck up and i don't really know if you know there are some guys that are you know really interested in lifting their trucks up but this is almost like like you're, it's lifted you know with this giant wheels plus you put on the extract mode which is your this, you know your top level you know the highest level of suspension feature the the level that you have you don't really need any more i mean i don't think i <laughs> i need to lift this anymore i'm six feet and this is almost you know the top of the hood is kind of like you know my chest height i mean i don't really see how much you could really be you know I, I don't even know if you can really you know lift these electric vehicles like you do with the gas versions but i don't think you really need so what would make this truck the best electric truck in the market all right let's think about the competitors the cyber truck has lower way lower battery capacity way lower range if you look at the you know access to the supercharger network now both trucks have that so there's no advantage of having you know cyber truck or the sierra ev or you know other uh gmc truck which i'm gonna talk about like the hummer ev truck in a few minutes we're gonna be kind of comparing it another point that i think gm sierra ev would have an advantage over cyber truck it's you know the self-driving assistance i believe at this moment super cruise is way better than you know tesla's driver assistance which you have to put your hand on the wheel as far as i know with this you just you know don't need to do that you just look at the road and then uh, there's a camera in front of it which checks that with your eyes if, you, if they're on the road or not so that's the thing so the driver assistance the battery battery capacity and all other features that you know the gm offers it's like the crab walk four wheel steering the trailing is up you know it's almost about the same i believe the cyber truck has eleven thousand. this is about ten thousand. uh zero to 60 yeah tesla could be a little faster but this 4.5 seconds i mean it really doesn't matter at this point for me as a truck owner if it's like 4.5 or 3.5 4.5 is is good enough for me so the main reason is i think the sierra ev would be a better choice in my preferences i just think that the gm's right quality is also way better than it gives you a lot more options comparing to the tesla cyber truck you know i was really a fan of tesla cyber truck when it's launched but i think gm just brought up a lot better truck and comparing to the which was also on my radar the hummer ev truck which i also took the test drive i really like the interior it's very flashy it's a it's a beautiful truck but it looks like more like a toy and i just felt like you know i could get bored after these five six months later store in the front which you know this is gmc thinking they're very practical thinking and it's like everything has a use that's what you see with the gms all the time and that's really good it's you know it's like everything is so thoughtful i, I really appreciate that so yeah they're both nice trucks but i would go for crev and then so those were like the two trucks that i would actually compare i'm not even comparing this truck you know for lightning or rivian because Rivian is a small truck it's not a full size so that's not on my radar at all I don't even look it up it's a small truck in those choices what would you choose and this is what I would choose and this is what I would think this Sierra EV Denali is the best electric full-size pickup truck in the year of 2024 and that's what I think and that's all my reasonings and comment below see if you agree or disagree and maybe I'm missing something you have other thoughts uh, maybe i'm missing some of the features but th 
those are the you know the main lines for me if you know should i consider other truck i don't see any other truck the lightning it's you know for example it's missing so many things the wrench is bad it's like you know I, i'm not even comparing it to these the beast so 2024 sierra ev denali edition one this truck has uh 754 horsepower 785 pound feet of torque and it has a range of 440 miles uh, with a battery capacity is 205 kilowatt hours. You could do zero to 60 in less than 4.5 seconds. It has four wheel steering, which you know, reduces your radius when you make your turns with this giant truck and it has the crab walk. So this is the new 2024 Sierra EV Denali Edition 1. It comes on this color and these interior, exterior, all the features. You have nothing to choose, no options available at this moment. And it would be in 2025. Hope you find this video helpful. It's mostly I walk you through the truck for the features that I like. And when comparing as a truck owner for so many years, and I know which features, which features are helpful and useful that I use it all the time and I kind of go through the features that I don't think I would be able you know ever use it but it's already in there you can't really choose what you're gonna have what not to have you know like the mid gate I don't know if I really need that because I don't really put long things in the bed you know I don't see myself doing it but anyway hope you enjoyed the video and that's pretty much it with the 2024 Sierra EV Denali I want to say ultimate but it's not edition one so that's the first edition the first EV Sierra Sierra and it's a really cool and a good looking truck I don't see there's much to complain it's definitely has everything you need maybe more things than you really need but it's it's a really good looking truck hope you enjoy the video see you on the next one